Say you owed five hundred dollars, but your payment is one fifty a month. You can pay that payment faithfully all you want to, but every thirty days that that five hundred dollars that you owe is not paid in full, it is hit with the interest sometimes up to fifteen percent every thirty days that the total amount is not paid. You are now tuning in to TNJ Radio Show. I tell people I've never seen a successful uh, child support case. Now, I'm not talking about the times when human resources have to come in to remove a child because of parents own drugs and all this other kind of stuff. But whenever DHR has involved itself in that family structure, there's always damage. There's never a good story. And and I was talking to some people, and I know you have this question. You was going to ask me about this question, which is, when people get involved in child support, how they, when they first get involved, they're already in debt. Um, a lot of people ask that question, how does that happen? Well, uh, due to you know, some common laws, they cannot charge a person for money that has not been spent. So that's why when a person gets to court, they're going back on that child. Say you go to court and you and a young, young person might not have been together and y'all did y'all's thing for five years and something happens and you find yourselves end up in court well they're not going to start right there with a fresh start they're going to go back five years and especially if she was receiving any type of state funded benefits and they're going to charge you with that back time so a lot of people are entering child support cases already with a tab on them and just let me throw this in there. And this is how people get caught up. We call it the hamster wheel that they can never get out of. Say you owed $500, but your payment is $150 a month. You can pay that payment faithfully all you want to, but every 30 days that that $500 that you owe is not paid in full, it is hit with the interest, sometimes up to 15% every 30 days that the total amount is not paid, not that you're paying your payment. So a lot of people need to learn to try to pay down that back time because you get into it saying you owe child support and you start making your payments. That's not good enough for a system, a beast like this. Because every 30 days, your total amount that you owe is being multiplied by interest. And that goes not to the mother, it goes to the state. 